we are going to be making some herb gardens and we are going to uh, make some really neat uh, planters. This doesn't take very much time and you will also have fresh herbs throughout the season then as well. So this is a gift that's really pretty and meaningful, but then also it's a very useful gift and can promote healthy eating in your household. We're going to be using these larger decorative containers and then filling them with, with smaller containers so that that way you can um, have interchangeable gardens, but then also our larger containers will help contain um, the water and the mess as well from watering our plants, which makes this then a good option for something to be kept inside, but that could also be carried and put outside. So for this particular planter, because we have a planter that can catch the water underneath, we are going to go ahead and poke drain holes in our smaller um, containers. So you want to be really careful while you're doing this. Um, and if you are under 18, you may want to ask for an adult uh, supervision, but you want to use a sharp blade or scissors to punch just a few drain holes and you want to be very careful of your fingers. And then also this is a little bit brittle plastic, so you want to be gentle at first to see, um, you know, how much damage you're going to be doing because you don't want to crack these. So I'm just kind of twisting the point of the knife and this is pretty soft plastic, so it went right through. And it doesn't have to be a very big hole, but just three or four about that size. So again, we're just gonna do one here, evenly spaced, and I'm not pushing real hard. I'm letting the knife blade do most of the work for me. And I'm um, just making, so there's another one, and then we'll do one down here. And so you wanna be just careful that you're not cracking the plastic. So in this long container here, the smaller decorative containers that we're using inside we want them to be able to sit up a little bit and we also want something to catch the water. So you can use gravel or decorative rock to fill in the bottom. Usually um, in this particular container, about an inch to an inch and a half of gravel, just pour it in and line the bottom. You wanna make sure that you choose a good quality potting mix. These can be purchased at farm stores or, or your local garden center. And the reason that we wanna choose a potting mix instead of just getting soil from the ground or natural soil from the garden is that whenever we're watering these herbs in containers that they'll be in throughout their lifetime, that will really compact natural soils and um, create problems for the roots. But a potting mix is something that's designed to be in a pot and it's gonna stay lighter and fluffier and hold water better, spread water more evenly. So you wanna make sure that you're selecting a potting mix. So here we have basil, parsley, cilantro, and dill. These are four of your most common herbs um, that we use in cooking and with our food. And so these will be really good for a windowsill or countertop garden, or even on the patio. So the nice thing about this um, system here is that something like basil that requires quite a bit of water can be watered individually in its own container. And then, um, something that, that requires a little less water, like maybe cilantro, can be watered less accordingly. So the nice thing about this container is that we can put, um, you know, different smaller containers in the back of it. We can even just put pots directly into the back of it and you can change these out as maybe um, the seasons change or if you want different herb plants. So um, for example, our something like our rosemary here which is a tender perennial it could be outside in the summertime and then maybe in the fall and winter time you could trans you could set this pot in the back of here and then you would have a really cute fall decoration as well um, so this is is a great uh, way to just use some common household items and while this container is decorative you could also use repurpose old toys um, or even things like taller boots and shoes to set pots down inside of um, for some really great uh, decorative ideas. 